Hi guys, welcome to another Solid Vibes video. Byte Dance, the makers of CapCut, have just released version 1.6.1. In this video, I will show you why you should wait with the update. So let's get started. With every CapCut update came many great new features, and this time was no exception. Or is it not? The best thing to do is to take a look at the new features right away. To do this, we start the installation of the update. A few moments later. Five minutes later. Fifteen minutes later. Twenty minutes later. This is not funny. <gasps> He's handsome. And she's Gretel. So, Gretel and Hansel? Nein! Hansel und Gretel! After finishing the installation, restart the application. You may not see the Join Pro button. When I created the video, I noticed that they have removed this feature. So you may or may not see this button depending on when you watch the video. They have added in the top another button. I believe that they encountered some bugs or problems and reverted this feature. Or they chose me to test their software for some reason. We at solid bugs care about bugs. So, if you are one of the lucky ones, you will now discover a pro sticker in some places in the program. The elements can be downloaded as usual, so what's the deal? I immediately visited the website, but despite intensive search found nothing. I had already mentioned this in my past videos, that there is no explicit info about CapCut PC on the website. Also, my email were not answered. Was erlaube, Struz? Free all-in-one video editor for everyone to create anything anywhere. Let's drag a pro sticker into the timeline, and then we export the video. You've probably already guessed. Of course, it was only a matter of time before they monetize on the application. The application is one of the best video editing software on the market, and they really deserve to earn some money. Press the crosshair icon to locate the pro element. Press B to deactivate the clip. Now, the export works as before. While we're at it, now is the time to hit the like button. Thank you for your time. Finally, let's press the Join Pro button. CapCut Pro for PC comes in three flavors. You have two options to buy a monthly subscription. That doesn't make sense. Maybe that was the reason they removed the subscription service from the software. It seems that your subscription costs 89 euros. At least for me, this is clearly too expensive. I have also unfortunately already purchased a permanent Filmora license. <laughs> To be completely honest, I don't like subscriptions at all, and I probably won't buy CapCut unless I get paid to use the software. <laughs> I guess the payment functionality is not yet fully ready, but you can expect that CapCut for PC will cost money in the future. For now, at least, when using professional material, we'll see if they add more restrictions to the free version like a watermark. I wish they would at least offer a permanent license. I really like the software, and I don't like the idea of switching to DaVinci Resolve. 